In this video for the Beacon Hill dollhouse construction, I'm going to go over wallpaper planning. I began this process early, way before I had completed the exterior of the house. I played around with different ideas about how to finish the interior, and there were many times that I considered leaving this in the yellow primer, but my sense of completion would not allow me to stop without making some effort on the interior. I decided that I was interested in wallpapering the interior, so I printed a variety of different samples. I found some dollhouse wallpaper, but I thought these were too limiting. I began doing web searches for different patterns that I liked and stored these on Pinterest. If the sample was large enough, I used Microsoft PowerPoint to overlap the swatch to make a sheet worthy to print. This is an effective way to get exactly the pattern you're interested in. I usually search for Victorian wallpapers and gravitated to William Morris designs. I thought these would be appropriate for a Victorian house such as the Beacon Hill. I kept printing many different patterns and laying these out in each of the rooms. As I continued this process, there were a couple of things that became clear. One. I felt that if I wallpapered all the walls in every room, it would look busy and overwhelming since the observer has view of all the rooms at the same time. The other thing was that the wallpapers must go together in some way. My first choice was the chinoiserie style paper with the birds used in the third floor bedroom. With that as my anchor, then the other papers must somehow complement. I also decided that I would use this sparingly only on the back wall of the room. I tried different papers and borders, but could never commit to another paper for that room. I then decided that a neutral, solid color would be more complementary and would add a touch of modern sensibility to the design. The pale blue color was to be the cohesive element that tied all the rooms together. Also, my lack of commitment led me to try attaching the wallpaper with poster tack. I thought this would allow me to change out the paper in the future more easily. However, after trying this, I was not pleased with the sloppy appearance and decided that it needed to be glued. I also used paint for the solid pale blue color. This provided a more aesthetically pleasing finish. When I first was trying different patterns, I printed these with a standard laser printer. However, once I made a decision, I took the image to a print shop and had this printed on lightweight cardstock. I treated the paper with Mod Podge to seal and protect the paper. This also made the paper more durable and easy to work with. I used a generous amount of glue stick to adhere the paper to the wall, which I thought worked quite well. The final finishes for the rooms will be discussed in other videos. Thanks for watching.